Hello everyone, when it comes to teaching vocabulary, Zoom has some built-in functionality which allows you to do matching exercises with your students. The tool which you need is called the Annotate tool. You can click on it and you can choose a line. I like to draw, use the arrow, the straight arrow. So for example, listen to rock, they might do that. Another thing you can do is you can choose another line, a squiggly line. So you can use things like this, you can draw, okay, so take part in marathons, okay. Now sometimes this can go wrong in a class and the annotation tool might not work, okay. And if that happens, don't worry because you can use PowerPoint's built-in icons in order to do that. And I'll show you how to do that next. So I'll just clear everything first. Yeah, usually we can draw on the screen, but I don't know what happened today. Now, I'm going to use an arrow anyway. Can you see what's on the screen? Great, okay. So we're going to do some vocabulary practice. Uh, can you choose one of them and match the letter to the number? Tell me which one. Uh, maybe we can start with put. Choose a number and tell me which one it matches with. E. E for number one. Listen to rock, Ploy. Uh, or you can do number four or five first. It's up to you. Live in England. Okay. What about Ploy? Three and B. Take part in marathons, B. debates, competitions. Yeah. Okay, and put. Enjoy concerts. Enjoy concerts. Do you agree, Ploy? Ah, uh, go to learning. Or maybe you like studying physics, right? Studying, ing. Okay, so uh, I want you to look at these words and make a sentence about yourself. 